everyone. So today we're gonna do a little Christmas painting. Uh, it's super quick and super easy to do. So we're going to do this painting here of a little snowman. Um, and I'm just gonna walk you through how to do it. So I've got my paints and everything set up here that I need already. So I have some blue paint, red, green, black, orange, and white paint. Uh, you can choose whatever colors you want. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Um, this is just a uh, how-to. So, to start off, I have my brushes in water. I'm going to take a fairly bigger brush. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm just going to dip it in my blue paint, and I'm going to take a little bit of white with it. And I'm just going to paint my background for this little snowman. So when you add white to your blue paint, it's going to make it a little bit lighter. Um, and if you want to kind of have some like snow kind of effects in there, uh, I recommend that you add some white on top of your blue, or you can just go all straight dark blue, um, whichever you prefer. So we're just going to move this all the way down the canvas. Nice back and forth, even brush strokes. As I get closer to the bottom where I'm going to have my snowman's face, I'm not going to, just make sure it's recording, yep, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to use so much of the dark blue, uh, I'm more so going to use uh, just the white, uh, just so that you can see my snowman's face really well. So I'm going to go to about right here. And you can just make sure you're on the sides. So the canvas that I'm using, um, there's not a, oh, it's a 10 by 12 canvas. Uh, if I were smart, <laughs> I would have gotten a smaller, more square canvas. Um, just for this painting, I think that it would look nicer. You can use any size canvas. Uh, just follow the same steps as you're going along. So I'm basically done where I want to have this set up here. Um, so next I'm going to start shaping my snowman. So I'm going to grab a different brush. Still you want your brush to be fairly large um, as it is going to be covering a lot of area, a lot of space. So, all right. So now I'm going to pick up um, some white paint with my brush here and I'm just going to kind of make a circle where, where my snowman would be. So he's going to be kind of right here. doesn't have to be overly symmetrical because what snowman is. So I'm just going to go like this. And um, you can add a touch, and I mean a touch of blue, to make your white stand out a little bit more. Um, it just kind of gives that more of a snow effect. So I have just dipped my paint in white and then grabbed a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of blue in the corner of my brush. So once you've kind of gotten that shape um, for your snowman, you're going to just fill in that circular area. So now don't worry about any blue that you've missed on the sides here because we are going to, just move a little closer maybe, um, there, now you can see me a little better. We are going to be filling this all in with white and then after we'll put in our finishing touches. So it's really hard to see my outline of my snowman right now because it's on the camera. Um, if you find that you're putting too much white in, or sorry, too much blue into your white, just keep adding more white over top and it'll kind of dilute the color a little bit there. So I'm going to take a little bit more of that blue and that white. I do have an extra, uh, sorry, an extra um, piece of just the inside of a paper plate for mixing. So if you want to take some of your white and your blue out and mix it on there, you can do that as well. So see I've added a little bit too much blue there, but once I go in with a little bit more white,
it makes it a little bit less, less blue. All right. All right. So at any point in this video, if I'm going too fast, just pause it, finish the step that you're on, and come back. So right now would be a good time to pause now that I have my snowman done. So if you're still trying to work through your background and you're saying, what the heck, Kayla, slow down, I have no idea what I'm doing, that's okay. Um, pause your video and I'll be waiting right here. Um, so if you've paused your video and come back, welcome back. I'm going to move on to the next step. So uh, something that I like to do that I've learned through other paint nights that I've done and just as a painter myself is um, just to dry your canvas. You just kind of air it out a little. Um, acrylic paint is what I'm using and acrylic works really well um, for layering and blending. So um, there shouldn't be an issue if your paint's still a little bit wet, you can kind of make it even and good. So my snowman's face here is still a little bit damp, but that is okay. So I'm going to clean that same brush that I used for my snowman's um, head. And I'm going to now work on his hat. So you don't have to put a hat on your snowman. If you'd rather make him bigger in this area, you can. Um, I'm going to add little things here and there that I want to do for my painting. So again, totally, that's up to you. So... I want him to kind of look like he is looking up. Um, I'm going to put a little bird on the top of his hat afterwards, so I want this to look like he's trying to see the bird. So I'm just going to put uh, just kind of a stri straight line, curved kind of straight line, right here. Okay. So because my snowman was still a little bit wet, uh, my black mixed in with the white, making it kind of gray, I want it to be more black and more prominent, so I'm going to just darken that up. Alright, so I'm going to make my snowman look like his hat is coming off of the page here. Uh, if you are finding that your snowman is still pretty wet and the black is mixing in, um, don't just keep going over it with more paint because eventually it'll just turn gray. <laughs> just let it dry a little bit and then you can go back in and uh, use some more, some more black to darken that up. All right, so I'm gonna quit getting into the snowman's head because I am just making a mess. So this is very rough. We're gonna go in and fix that afterwards. I just kinda wanted to get the base where I was going to put um, the brim of his hat. So um, now I'm going to do the top part of the top hat. So it's just a uh, square. However you want to shape it, you can make it as big or as small as you'd like. I know some of you are probably thinking, we just painted all that blue, what are you doing? But, it's, as Bob Ross would say, it's a happy accident. So, just going along. I'm really going to shape this I'm going to have his hat coming off of the page on both sides. It's not really symmetrical, but it's there. And I'm just going to fill this in.
Fill it in as much as possible. Right now, this kind of just looks like a blob, but we're we're getting there, slowly, slowly but surely. All right. All right. I have decided on my snowman that I am going to put a scarf, um, well not a scarf, but a like a sash, a ribbon, on his top hat. So um, I'm going to use a lighter color than black, but I am going to just let this dry. So I'm just going to wave it. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. While I'm waiting, I am going to take my uh, brush that I used for my background again, and I'm going to go in and kind of fill in some areas like right here. Whoop! Sees that was close. Fill in some areas here um, where I want to round out his face and just get more of the background in there. I really should have brought an easel. Um, so I'm just going to take my white, a little bit of blue, and I'm just going to fill in this area. Try not to touch the black part of your snowman if you can, or else you'll just have a snowman that has black stripes throughout his face. So, working on it, working on it. Uh, So I just did exactly what I told you not to do. And I went in there with the black and have a look at that. And I'm just gonna go over it with some more white. And it's adding some definition. All right. As always, cleaning my brush. So now I'm just gonna pick up some blue and just kind of put it here to add uh, some shape and to see that we're rounding out where the snowman is there. Oh my goodness. that there just like so all right so I think while I'm waiting because the um, background should be dry now I'm going to take the end of my paintbrush it's this is a fairly big paintbrush so it's quite rounded I'm just gonna dip it in the white paint and I'm gonna put snowflakes just put that all over randomly put some on his hat maybe You can use different sized um, ends of your paintbrush for this. If you want to add a few snowflakes in there, you can do that as well. Um, another thing that I've done before that I like to do is uh, you just dip your uh, an old paintbrush or an old toothbrush in um, the white paint and then you just flick it. Flick it at the canvas and it will put nice little specks of white. So I'm going to do that now. Just take a little bit and just... Paintbrush is a little wet still. Just dip it in there. Just gives your painting a little bit more Ooh! snow effects. Again, Bob Ross, happy accident. 
doesn't have to be perfect because every snowman is different and it's winter time so the snowman could be in a blizzard so um, I'm going to now go in with um, what am I gonna do next game plan I'm gonna use the black paintbrush that I was using with the black paint um, and I'm just going to kind of shape my hat a little bit better. Uh, just kind of go in and put in some of those extra little, little details. Maybe make it a bit wider right here. Alright. So that done there. So now I am going to, I think my black is dry enough. I'm probably lying. Um, so bear with me. Uh, remember at any time, if I'm going way too fast, just please pause the video and I'll be here when you get so I've decided I'm going to make a green um, sash around his hat. So I'm going to make it starting kind of right here. I'm just going to swipe my green across where I want it. And my paint is still way too wet. All right. So don't do that if your painting is still wet. no one comes in here they're gonna just see me waving a canvas like a crazy person I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> all right so while my lovely hat is drying I'm going to put on my snowman's face because that's dry so I'm gonna take a smaller paintbrush that I have uh, it's pretty pretty small I don't know if you can see kind of so I'm going to go in, just dip it in the water there, and then I'm going to dip it in some black. So his eyes are not going to be perfect. I'm going to just do little teardrop kind of eyes. like so so these eyes actually look really nice because I still have a little bit on my brush or in the paint I guess um, so there's that so now because I have multiple brushes here I'm going to use a different one if you don't have multiple brushes just clean that one off um, and we're going to make his nose. So it's totally up to you how you want to uh, make his nose. Um, if you want to make it straight, if you want to make it curved. Um, for this, I'm going to kind of go off of the picture that I had found for tonight. So I'm going to just shape it out first. Mm. And again, if you're doing this with your paint still a little bit wet underneath, the white will actually add some natural um, dimension to your painting. So right now, because it is wet, I can kind of see some white through the carrot. And I like that. It adds um, some texture and it adds some depth in there. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, 
because a carrot is not going to be perfectly straight. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, what you can do, uh, I'll just show you an extra step, is you can just dip a little bit of white like we did with the blue. And you can just go over the top. Kind of outline. Outline it a bit. Or you can go this way. Add some texture that way. Just like so. So it's hard, it's gonna be hard to see on the camera, but there there is some texture in there, there's some definition. Um, so uh, finally, if you have room on your canvas and you want to do it, you can add a mouth. Um, you can do the end of your paintbrush again to make little, perfect little circles. But again, um, snowmen's mouths are usually made out of rocks or coal. Um, so I'm going to just take another small paintbrush. If you don't have that, use uh, any of the paintbrushes that you had before, but a smaller one would probably work the best. And I'm just going to dip it in my black and I'm just gonna make some uneven, non-perfect circles. And his smile is gonna come back up over here. Kind of see there. Perfect. I'm going to give it a little dry. So um, as I'm doing this, I've totally changed my mind on what I want to do um, with his hat. So I'm still going to add that kind of strip of um, ribbon or sash. I'm not sure exactly what, what it is. Um, clean my brush as much as possible. So I'm going to take my other um, plate and I'm going to pick up some of my uh, green and I'm going to pick up some white and I'm going to mix that in and I'm going to make it just a lighter shade of green. By adding the white um, when you go to paint over black it will actually help paint over the black um, I don't know why. I'm not an art major. I just, I just know that. So now I'm going to come in again and see how you can see that, um, color on the black much nicer. Much better, I should say. I'm not liking this. I think I might have made his hat a little too too big on the top or on the bottom, sorry. But you get the drift. Just add I'm going to pick up more of my green and more of my white. And you can even do it right on the canvas too. And you just blend, blend, blend. I'm going to just get a different paintbrush. I've mudded, mud, mudded, mudded, mudded it up quite a bit because I'm impatient and can't wait for the black to dry. But you can leave it like that. You can keep it going. You can you can do whatever you want. It's your painting. So um, I want to just let this dry a little bit longer. I think I'm going to skip the bird today. Um, I'm kind of liking this. I like that he's looking up at the sky, um, looking up at the snowflakes. So um, I'm going to go in now and just do uh, finishing touches. So things like the hat here. Just make it more black. 
really define where his hat is on his head. Um, I'm going to just try to fix this. I'm thinking I'm going to probably regret this, but I'm going to fill it in there so his hat is coming off of the page like it is on the front. Okay, camera dive. Video making is not my forte. <laughs> so we are just going to quickly finish up this snowman before my phone dies too. And I hope that you caught the last bit of what I was saying. If you didn't, uh, I was just filling in my snowman's hat on the side here. There was a bit of a gap before. I'm gonna go over everything I just did with um, uh, my ribbon, or the piece of fabric on his hat, if you will. Uh, just because I'm not happy with my choices. I'm a pretty big perfectionist, so to do this on the fly like this is something that's definitely a challenge for me. But, hey, we're all about growing. So I am just going to fill in the hat as much as possible. Just like so. All right. So the rest of my snowman is pretty dry. Um, just going to make the brim of his hat nice and even. Sure. Good enough. Um, so I now his eyes you can kind of do a little tap test and seems seems to be dry um so again i have the brushes available if you don't um, just wash a smaller brush off uh, or you can use the end of a smaller paintbrush as well for this next step so i'm just going to add a little bit of definition to his eyes so i'm just going to add a little bit of white there to his eye and one over here I don't know if that makes him look googly eyed or not even it out a little bit there Got some definition in his eye. Um, also what you can do is you can add um, some definition in the hat if you wanna show kind of like a sun glare. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe that's what will define my hat and make it look good. My water is pretty muddy right now. So uh, if your water gets really gross, feel free to get more water, <laughs> change it out. I usually change mine out quite often. Um, but today, just for timing purposes, I haven't, and I'm regretting it. So, uh, this is still pretty wet, but I think, um, like, the black on his hat here, but I think it'll be fine for what I'm trying to do, so I'm literally just going to take a stripe. <sighs> now my husband called me. I really, really just need something better to, <laughs> to do this with. Okay, so back to what I was doing again. I was just adding a little white uh, strip right here just to kind of show some definition in the hat. To say this is his hat. This is what we're doing. And if you don't like it, do what I'm about to do and just fill it back in with black. Kind of made it a little bit better, but still, still pretty mucky. Perfect. So there is my snowman. 
He's got some snowflakes around him. You can always go in and add some little definition with some white ever so lightly. And then to add a little bit to your snowman. Just adds a little bit of definition there. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, uh, I'm gonna take a different type of paintbrush because the first time it didn't quite work how I would have liked it to. I'm just gonna dip it in the white and I'm gonna add some more You don't want to hold it too close to your canvas when you're doing this because you can get long stripes like that. It's quite messy. I don't know. I like it. It's cute. So there's our snowman. Um, I guess I should have kind of walked you through at the beginning about the um, things you'll need. I'll add that in um, the video description. So I think it turned out pretty good for a quick 20 minute painting. Um, I had fun. I actually liked this despite the video issues. I, uh, I liked it. So I am going to try to plan monthly paint nights, um, different themes based on each month. February would be Valentine's Day, January, I don't know, something winter, um, and so on and so forth. Um, if you liked this video, please let us know and, uh, whoa, I think it's time to go home. <laughs> I would love to see your snowman paintings. This is super easy to do with the kids. Um, if you don't want to do the hat, um, another variation of this is just making half of a circle on your canvas and doing the exact same thing that we did. You just don't add the hat and you do half a circle and you put your snowman's face on and everything and yeah I was torn between putting a hat on and not um I'm regretting it I wish I wouldn't have put a hat on now but it's all good still turned out good but anyways thank you guys for painting with me and we'll see you soon have a merry christmas